Alright folks, my name is Magnus and my feet hurt. Oh. My feet hurt because I've got new leather shoes. Yes. Leather shoes are like that, they have to be broken in. So while these shoes will give me blisters for the first few days, eventually they'll become like a second skin. Like these are my old shoes. They were kind of painful to begin with, but now they're delicious. I guess you could say that a leather shoe is like a hunter's pet in World of Warcraft. You have to battle them into submission, but then you have a friend for life. They say dogs are man's best friend. Fuck dogs. Leather shoes and raptors. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of dogs, Man Bites Dog is a film that I will be reviewing today! Segway! I'm probably going to tread on some toes right now because I know that Man Bites Dog is loved by so many people. And I will agree that the concept is really good. You have a serial killer who's followed by a documentary team seeing his murders and dumping the bodies and also just day-to-day -day life with his family and his girlfriend. It looks okay too. It has its kind of cinema verite or direct cinema style. The fly on the wall documentaries that emerged in the 60s. The problem is that it's really, really sloppy. Ben's character is just a mass of cliches just stacked on top of each other into like a big bundle, like a sandwich. All the while leaving out the one crucial thing of any serial killer, they're good enough not to be caught. Whereas in this film, they run around and they have gunfights and he chases a kid around the block. It's just crazy. It doesn't work. It's completely unbelievable. So it begs the question, how has this guy not been caught yet? How did he even get in contact with this documentary group? And why is the film crew allowing themselves to be filmed and named in the film? I can see how it would need to progress that way in the film in terms of how it progresses. But it doesn't make any sense of them not to react to being filmed in the beginning. And actually, how did Ben volunteer to do this anyway? You can create a character that has a need to show himself off and show off his work. And they've done this before in film. But the thing is, Ben's character isn't like that. He goes on and on about not wanting to make waves. Also, as far as I understand it, people find the bursts of violence kind of funny or cool or whatever. I just don't get that. To me, the violent scenes are just uncomfortable to watch and I don't get the funny part. Though I'm not the best person to be talking about violence in films because I am a bit of a sissy. I don't know if you've seen Gamer with Gerard Butler. I actually thought that the violence in Gamer was meant to show the brutality of video game violence if it had been brought into real life. While other people find it more hilarious and awesome. Anyway, Man Bites Dog. I thought it was unbelievable. I thought it was sloppy. I thought it had an original concept but with very unoriginal characters and execution. <laughs> well, it's a comment on how the decadent society and the bourgeois middle classes use their violent urges and the violent media to live out their fantasies in a way that has no- Shut up! God, he's such a dickhead. <sighs> Man Bites Dog gets a frown from me. If only it had been more like this. <laughs> ah!